Hey YouTube, welcome to One Little Coder. We are going to learn how to create or design our own iOS app icons or generally app icons using Stable Diffusion. Thanks to the new fine-tuned Stable Diffusion model that's called App Icons Model for SD. This has been uploaded by JV Cape. JV Cape, um, thank you so much for uploading this model. We're going to use this model with automatic web UI and then design our own app icons. Let's look at a demo first. A microphone speaker, highly detailed. Trending on OddStation, iOS, Icon App, Icons MI. Icons MI is the token here, but we'll discuss about that later. So, okay, so this is exactly how we are going to design iOS app icons using stable diffusion. How did we reach here? Like I said, the first thing is we have got a fine tuned model. Thanks to JVK, we have got the CKPT files. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use this Google Collab Notebook. This is actually a fork or copy of the last Ben's fast table diffusion Google Collab Notebook. All you have to do is open this Google Collab Notebook that I link it in the YouTube description, run everything. First, it's going to ask your Google Drive permission. Just give it. You can check the code to see if you know this Google Collab Notebook is going to steal something. So make sure always look at the code before you give permissions. But after that, then everything that you have to do is give a tick mark here. And in this particular place, you have to paste the model link, which I've already done for you. And that comes directly from here, this CKPT. So click the CKPT here and then that right click the download and copy link. And if you don't want these details, it's completely fine. But I'm just giving this extra detail in case if somebody wants to know what is happening here. At this point, we have downloaded the model and then install all the requirements, run this, run this small cell, and then finally click this use Gradio server and then run this. This is going to take a little bit of time and finally you're going to get a public URL like this. Once you click a public URL like this, you are going to get an application like this. And that application is going to help us design the app icons. So I've refreshed it. And then this is the screen that we are going to get. And this is the model checkpoint. This is the model checkpoint that we just downloaded from um, Jake Jake's model. So I'm going to give something. For example, I want a smartphone um, podcast. And then I'm going to say highly detailed trending on ArtStation iOS app, icon app, icons MI. This is the token that is important for this particular model checkpoint to work fine. But again, Jake has mentioned a couple of tips on how to get a better looking image. For example, for his case, highly detailed trending and art station, I was app icon, um, icons MI helped in creating good icons. So we are going to copy the same thing and, um, and we add whatever we want in a very detailed manner just before that. Okay. So this doesn't entirely look like smartphone, but that's okay. Let's try one more thing, a headphone, a black color headphone, maybe black colored headphone, highly detailed, trending on art station, iOS app icon, icon semi. And then we are going to design this again. And then we're going to see, oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And one of the biggest advantages of doing something here in the automatic web UI is, for example, let's say you like it. Now I can click this and then I can take this icon, but what if I want to upscale this icon? So I can click this and then say send to extras then I can go to extras and I can say, you know what now at this point, I want to upscale this and you have got a lot of different upscalers. What is the size you want to upscale? And then you can start upscaling it. And that is going to again, make it really amazing for you because um, let's say I've just clicked an upscaler and I'm trying to make it bigger. It's going to take a couple of seconds, but now you're going to get a higher resolution of the same icon. For example, if you want to use it actually for your application, you can like right away in a couple of minutes, you would have designed a high quality iOS icon and that icon is available for you to use. And as you can see, this has been upscale. You can further increase that. You can also choose image to image. Let's say I pick this and then I say this robot girl and I can say this, let's see if it holds again. But this is another advantage of using automatic automatic UI where you can do everything in one web interface. Oh, this, this is amazing. I, I think, I think this is amazing. Like for example, if I had done this without image to image, um, 
I don't know how it's going to look like. Let's try. Let's try and then see the comparison if the image to image actually worked. So you can see that. Let me interrupt this. You can see that I have okay. The robo girl looks like this. So this is one where we just gave the prompt saying a robot girl highly detailed trending on ArtStation iOS icon app, and this is what we got. And this is what we got when we had uploaded an image and then gave the same prompt. I think this is much much better result, and I'm really surprised. Like I just I just tested it right now. The overall point is simple. Um, like I said. you need to run the google collab notebook everything top to bottom and once you reach here you are going to get this particular gradio link click the link come here try text to image whenever you give the prompt make sure that you have got these things highly detailed trending on art station ios icon app most important is the token here which is icons mi and then before that give whatever you want to give in a detailed manner according to the developer or the person who would find you on this model the abstract terms do not work fine so you need to give very specific but what we just figured out is this the image to image works really fine the color combination and all those things and if you want to upscale the image you can go to send the image to extras and then start upscaling the image so overall is one of the easiest most efficient way to design ios app icons using stable diffusion and um, these things look really good like this is amazing if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in the next video happy coding peace